Hi guys, welcome to Accounting Online. Today we are going to see how to create a company in Sage 50 accounts. Uh, the first thing is you need to install Sage software in your system. Once you have installed Sage, you will see this icon on your desktop. I'll click on this icon and just taking a bit long and I will see this window which says select company okay uh, you can see these two companies already there so these are the default companies created by Sage uh, one is called demonstration data and it has got lots of data in there and the other one is called practice data and there is no data in this company so if you want to practice different things different double entries so I would recommend you to use this practice data company okay to create a new company you need to click on this add company button in top left corner so I will click on this one once you click on this button you we are gonna see you're gonna see active setup wizard okay this is the step-by-step -step approach to create company in sage 50 accounts uh, in this first step there are four options uh, the first option is called set up a new company so if you want to create a company from scratch uh, you need to click on this first option uh, the second option is use an existing company stored on your network so if you already have a company uh, stored in your system and if you install sage on that system what you can do is you can connect the old company with your new sage and start straight away rather than creating company from scratch okay the third option is called restore data from backup file so if you got sage backup file with you what you can do is you can click on this third option and locate your backup file and select the backup file and run your company okay the third the fourth option is called connect to data from sage drive so sage drive is a cloud um, based option from sage in which client uploads the data uploads his sage data in cloud and the accountant can um, access the data remotely but if you want to uh, use sage drive you need to look uh, into a couple of things so I would rather recommend you to do your research uh, on sage drive before using it in this video we're gonna create a company from scratch so I will click on uh, set up a new company and you can also change the path of the company and you can also give a number uh, to their company but I'm going to use this default path and a number uh, by Sage. So once you have selected the first option, just click on next. Okay, here you can put the company's name. Okay, my company's name is Sam Electricals. Yeah, I made a mistake here. Okay, the address is going to be 52 London Road, press tab, street 2 is nothing, town is, I'm going to put London, county, I can skip it, and postcode is UB112KL, okay, country is United Kingdom, telephone number is 0205000 and 9000, okay, fax number, I can leave this blank email address is info at sam electricals.co.uk website address I can also leave it blank okay whatever the fields you are leaving blank here you can put these details later okay once you have filled in these details you can click on next okay this is third step business type and this is the most important thing okay so there are four business types here the first one is sole trader in which if you are working uh, for yourself you're a sole trader you can select the first option and then there is partnership so partnership is like if uh, there are two or more individuals uh, running the same business so that is called partnership and then there is limited company and then there is a charity so this is a limited company so I'm gonna click on here uh, okay so what it does business type so according to the different business types sage has different set of chart of accounts so for sole trader there is a different uh, 
uh, chart of accounts for partnership there is a different chart of accounts and for limited company there is a different chart of accounts for example in sole trader because you are working for yourself so you won't see any directors there and you won't see any equity part there for partnerships uh, you won't see any directors rather there are going to be there will be partners and there are going to be the drawings account and in limited company there is going to be the equity part which is mainly shareholder uh, ordinary shares and reserves and then there is going to be the director account and in charity if you're running a charity then you can also use uh, click on this charity option and you're going to have the um, chart of accounts based on your charity uh, there are two more options which says I don't want to set up based on the business type or you can also use your own chart of accounts but if you want to use your own chart of accounts I would recommend you to speak to your accountant before using any of these option okay so I have selected limited company and then I will click on next okay so the fourth step is select your financial year choose which says choose when your company's financial year begins if you're not sure when your financial year begins please contact your accountant for guidance before you proceed any further so my financial year starts from 1st of January uh, 2017 and it will give you the whole year the, the whole year uh, the whole financial year which is starting from 1st of January 2017 and ending on 31st of December 2017 let's say if you can't put the if you put the wrong financial year mistakenly and you don't realize and you start putting the data it may mess up whole of your data so it is very very important that when you are setting up a company so you put the right financial year straight away okay so this is my financial year I'm sure and then I can click on next okay this one says the company is your company VAT registered or not I will say yes my company is VAT registered and this is my registra VAT registration number so there are nine digits in VAT registration number so I can put one two three four five six seven eight nine okay this is the VAT scheme uh, you need to know what VAT scheme your is your company is on and there are four VAT schemes offered by Sage first one is called standard VAT scheme the second one is called VAT cash accounting scheme and the third one is flat rate VAT FRS scheme invoice paid and VAT flat rate scheme cash based okay here you need to put the standard rate of VAT which is 20% okay before moving I want to discuss one more thing even if your company is not VAT registered uh, you cannot leave this box blank you still need to put the VAT percentage which is 20% okay this is one thing the other thing is if your company is on VAT flat rate scheme let's say flat rate invoice space you need to put two VAT percentages so one is going to be the standard VAT and the other is going to be is going to be VAT FRS percentage or VAT flat rate scheme percentage uh, this percentage will depend upon your business activity so when you are registering the company on flat rate scheme you would use a business activity and against that business activity you would find your VAT FRS percentage and if you use the wrong VAT percentage it is gonna have some long-term consequences okay so before proceeding if you if your company is on flat rate scheme please speak to your accountant okay here my company is on standard scheme so I will just click on standard scheme and press next okay this is the currency my company deals in and the base currency is pound sterling but there are different currencies if you want to use it you can use US dollar or euros uh, but I'm going to use pound sterling and press next here I can give password which is the default username 
and password for sage is manager which is not case sensitive